Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or you are not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my combined channel, Yulika, my sister's channel, Angelica. And be a part of the Cheryl community. It's a wild ride, but you know what? It's fun. As you guys can see, I am not in front of my plain wall back there. I am in another, another space because um, I am trying to do the natural light situation. In today's video, I am going to share with you guys things that annoy the living bajinkies out of me. So if you want to be my friend and you want to know how not to annoy me, then definitely watch this video. The first thing that annoys me is when people eat my food. And not like, if I have like a piece of bread and you're hungry and I'll give you my bread, it's fine, you can eat it. But when I'm at a restaurant with someone and they pick food out of my plate, that irritates me and makes me so mad because um you have your own why do you have to eat my food and i i think you guys think it's it's dumb that you would get angry at that but for me it really irritates me when someone picks out of my food that's like a really 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 big pet peeve that i have the second thing that irritates me is when people interrupt me while i'm having a conversation or while i'm telling a really cool story and someone interrupts me and I lose my place in the story then I'm just like okay nie praat ma, it's okay, make your turn. The third thing and I feel like this has been a meme lately is when I can hear you eat. Like when someone eats a packet of um, crisps I can hear, if I can hear it I am going off my rockers. It, I don't know. It just irritates me so much when I can hear someone eat. This is one thing that I hate so much and girls usually do this. Guys does not do this. When you badmouth me at someone else and then you come to me and you're like, Oh, hi, you be uncle. Are you so lovey dovey with me? Two faced people. I hate people that do that. Just be real, I'm one of those people. If you do not like me, then don't talk to me or tell me you are not interested in speaking to me. Do not two-face me and say bad stuff behind my back and then you are nice in front of my face and my I have I have had a few friends, actually best friends, that done that to me and I just I don't need that negativity in my life. Clearly, you are not in my life for a purpose, so there's no reason to badmouth me and then just be all nice in my face. This is another thing that really makes me mad. It annoys me, but actually it makes me very angry. And um, I'm not saying all guys do this, but some guys do this, is when you make fun of gay, bisexual, transgender people. Or when you make fun of homeless people. I get really mad about that because it's, first of all, it's not their fault that they're homeless. I know everyone says they can work and they can box office by checkers and stuff like that. But I know how it feels when you are trying to find a job and no one wants to hire you. I hate that and especially when people say mean things about gay people. It's you you don't live in that environment you don't live in their home you don't know how it is so just back off keep your mouth shut and then the world will be a better place that's how we can um get world peace so stop bad mouthing people and stop bad mouthing homeless and gay people it really makes me angry this was this was definitely at my school this is one thing that really annoyed me and i feel like everyone in my school feels like this when you are late for class or when you are late for an appointment or you're not even late you're on a hurry and you walk fast and there's someone in front of you that walks as slow as a snail that makes me so mad and then you're like hello um can you please walk a little bit faster because i need to be somewhere and then they're like stop oh uh, 
There's in it yay me booty. Oh, when I usually go to the club with my girlfriends and I dance and everything, and I know I'm not like a, I feel like I am a good dancer in the club, but my moves is very interesting and unique to my personality. But when I am in the club and someone dances behind me and first of all tries to grind on me, that that just freaks me out. That does not annoy me. That freaked me out so much. And when you are dancing in a club and there's someone behind you or like next to you or something and they spill their drink all over you. That just makes me mad. That does not annoy me. That just makes me angry. One thing and this definitely happens in the morning. I'm not a morning person. So when I get up, not going to say that I am irritated, but I am not like a morning person. I, I usually sleep like till 11 or past 10. When I have to wake up in the morning, like six o'clock or something, and I feel very positive about this day and about my makeup and stuff. And I do my makeup and my eyebrows does not come out the way I want them to or they are more arched or they are more like flat or the color just does not look right that's something that irritates me so much is when my eyebrows does not come out the way that I wanted it to come out or when I have a very important event that day and my makeup has to look sharp and then everything in the universe decided to target Yuvianka Durk and my makeup just looks utter shit. I have very big feet. My father is German. So uh, my feet is a nine and when I have to wear high heels Usually in women's high heels, they make it until a 8 and if you're lucky, you'll get a 9 but usually that does not fit. So that's one thing that annoys me so much is when I can't find a shoe size for my feet or a shoe for my feet size. But I can't find a shoe and this especially happened on a matric farewell day. I ordered shoes from Woolworths and it was a 9. I ordered them, I got them the day, it was like a week before matric farewell and Prom is usually something that's already stressful. It's like a little mini wedding day. So it's already stressful. So you want everything to go as planned. And I got the shoes and the shoe did not even come over half of my foot. So I gave it to my aunt and she's a size five and the shoe fitted her perfectly. Luckily, I found a shoe at Mr. Price that was not expensive and it fitted me, but Usually when I have to go and look for shoes, I will go to a drag queen shop because obviously their main, their shoe size is like till a 12 or a 13. So I will find a shoe at a drag queen shop. So that definitely annoys me. So if you're watching this and you are part of a factory or something that makes shoes, please can you think of the people with the size 9 and make it like on a scale till a size 10, please? Or make it like a nine and a half or an eight and a half. This, and I actually thought of this recently. I was listening to Kayla Nicholson um, to her Spotify playlist. And I heard this really, really, really cool song. But obviously I was working, so I did not look what the song was. I was listening to the song and it was this really cool song. It was so catchy and then I couldn't find it. So that's one thing that annoys me is when I hear a song. I can remember a small part of it, but not enough to like go and Google search it so I can find the song. So when I hear a song and I don't know what's the song, or I don't know what's the song's name to find it on my playlist, that definitely, that makes me mad. I just get frustrated when I have to go and buy jeans like it's almost winter in South Africa and I want to get myself like two really nice jeans and usually I have to look at the plus size division because normal girls jeans they do not fit me or something that annoys me is when I fit a jean and I did at H&M and I have really big what do you call that in Afrikaans it's your kaita so I have really big kaita and the jean did not come over my kaita. So that's one thing that annoys me is when I can't find a jean and I still don't have a jean. I have to go and buy a jean because I'm going to Pretoria to see all my friends. But I obviously need a jean because I don't have one. So um, yes, pray for me that I find 
hygiene. Oh, this is one thing that makes me mad. It does not annoy me, it makes me mad. It's when I buy a really nice liquid lip, okay? or when I have a nice liquid lip, and I want to apply the liquid lip, and it gets all blotchy and patchy on me. That annoys me because I have a whole face, a full face of makeup, nice eyes, nice brows, everything, and then there's this lip situation going on here with the blotches and the patchiness, and now I have to wipe it off. I'm already wiping away a part of my foundation. That's something that makes me so, 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 so angry. Another thing that annoys me is when I do makeup, and I usually, do my foundation first and then my eyeshadow and when I my eyeshadow and there's fallout on my cheeks that also annoys me because now there's powder on my cheeks already that gives it a shine that my eyes are and this last one my design the people that was in my design or any art people would totally understand this when I paint when I paint a canvas or a picture or whatever and I make myself a nice cup of tea and obviously it's late at night it's like two o'clock three o'clock in the morning and you're painting and you accidentally put your paintbrush in your tea or your coffee mug that annoys me because now not only that I ruin my paintbrush I have to like deep clean my paintbrush so it does not get any stickiness of the sugar on it and secondly I have to make this nice cup of tea again then I am going to like use a lot more water, a lot more milk, a lot more sugar and a second tea bag okay guys so that's it for this video if you have enjoyed it then catch me again on my next video <laughs> remember to go and check out my tea time tuesday video as well the tea time tuesday video is a lot different than the usual ones i did help my friend lorraine with her makeup she actually chose a makeup look that i did on instagram and she asked me if i can help her to achieve that makeup look so that's also fun and now if you want if you are from another country and you want to learn a little bit of afrikaans we talk a lot of Afrikaans in that video, so um, definitely go and check that out. Remember to go and follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, go and follow me on Twitter as well, please, and go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be a part of the Cheryl community. It's a wild ride, but it's a fun one. Go subscribe, please. I really want a thousand subscribers by the end of 2018, and I feel like I can achieve it. I wanted a hundred subscribers by the end of March and I don't know if that's going to happen but I am on 81 subscribers now and I'm so glad so I just want to say thank you for your support to you that are watching this and if you are not subscribed the subscribe button sweetie I love you guys so much and I'll see you back again in my next video bye